What's up, gang? Welcome to another exciting episode of 16 Steps. My name is Jason. I'll be your host. And today we're going to edit audio on Ableton Live. This is going to be quick and dirty, so let's get right to it. I am going to take some audio from my desktop and drop it right into Live. And we can do that by uh, clicking, holding, and then Command-Tab back into Live. And you can just put it right in there. So we'll take that. I don't really like this brown color. You can change the color of your clips by uh, control click and pick a new color. So this is all the way at the end. Let's do this. We're going to move this all the way to the one like so and then we're going to zoom in on the one so what we want to do is try and sync up this audio so let's see our default tempo right now is at 133 and a half and we can see that that is a little bit faster than the audio and we could tell by looking at these kick drums so these are kicks obviously and what we're gonna do is try and get these lines to get right up on that so this needs to go down a little bit 133 uh, 132 so we're in the we're headed in the right direction here so also I have warp set to off um, if you were to put warp on, it would just play it back at the speed that your sequencer is set to. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, and you can see this turns into the magnifying glass if you put it there, or you can hit the plus and minus key, or you can hit the plus or minus key to zoom in or out. Normally, I don't know why. So you can hit the plus or minus key to zoom in or out. So what I want to do is check at the end of the of the track and see if those beats are still lining up. And you can see that they're not. So something's happened here. Either it's off by a yeah. See how it's it keeps getting closer and closer to that line. It's moving around a little bit. So it looks like we are still going to be a little bit let's see that looks like it's a little slower hmm. where does it start to go crazed you can also move around by doing this this little bar up here is the overview of the entire track um, so we're at four bars we're still in sync uh, we're starting to come a little bit ahead of the beat there so we're gonna speed this up just a tiny bit so we're at 129 129.4 that moves it a little bit. We're still on there. Still on there. Still on there. I went past. Alright. So yeah. So I made this track at 129.4 BPMs. Beats per minute. Now that we are matched to tempo, which you don't have to do this, but it's it's easier. It makes things a lot easier later on. Because what you can do is is go in there and just highlight parts and cut them out. I don't like this color. Okay. So what you can do here, you can make the waveform larger. And you can just highlight a part 
And if you hit delete, it will delete just that part. I'm going to hit command Z to undo and puts it back. But what I want to do is just make this go into that. So let's listen to where it's going to go. So I have a little break there. But I want it to go into this part. So let's try this. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. Just this one part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift Command X. Which deletes time. So now when you play it back. Not the best edit. Because of the context but you'll see that it's still on the beat so an important thing to remember when you're editing is uh, want to make it make sense musically another cool thing you can do with Ableton is you can take this entire clip and bring it into the session view and we're gonna put it right there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some copies of this so you can do this a number of ways you can hit command D to duplicate or you can hold option click and drag and these commands work the same throughout live I'm just randomly going to select some colors to keep them looking different. And then here, I have this clip selected. They all look remarkably the same because they're all talking about the same audio file, which is this. I'm going to delete this one. Uh, you could do repitch, or these are the different options for warping. Um... I'm just going to do repitch. Loop it. I want our loop length to be 16 bars. Then you can hit tab on these. So there's 16 bars. And I can move it wherever I want. Wherever I go, I got 16 bars. So that's that one. I'm going to go ahead and put the so this is so this is the play start so wherever this little flag is is where this clip will start when you launch it so let's put it there it's there put it there it's there um, but I want it to be a 16 bar loop so I'm gonna put that there and then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Warp so that you can loop. I'm going to turn on the loop. I'm going to make it 16 bars again. And I'm going to put it on a different section of the song. Put it, put it right at the beginning of this part. I'm going to zoom in so that I can see it a little better. We're going to move the playhead, the start playhead, to the beginning of the loop. And then when you play this one, cool. And then we'll take this one, do the same thing, loop it. And then let's find another part that's just a little bit different, but it shouldn't be too different because this is just a jam I did. Oh, that's good. So we'll make this one A bars. Oh, look at that. You can put that there. Move the start. To the beginning of that and then what happens is is when you play 
these clips you can jump based on the quantization of the clips. So there you have it, some quick editing tips in Ableton and a little creative action with loops. Sorry I missed last week. Also the last video that I made ended up being way too long and the sync was all off so I ended up just having to reshoot the whole thing which is where we're at now. I do intend to stay on my once a week schedule. Last week was just an anomaly. We'll get back on track now and get some more videos rolling next week i'm going to unbox uh, some new headphones and we're going to talk a little bit about um, music theory for techno music i know so uh i will see you then this has been 16 steps peace <laughs>